All right, welcome back to Sandwich Wars, <laughs> episode one. In today's episode, we will be putting the pernil sandwich, which is an all fresh ham regional delicacy here in Brazil, against the mortadella lunch meat monstrosity, which obviously comes from Italy, but is quite popular at the municipal market, which will be a redemption trip for us. Right. We will be avoiding all fruit sellers and going for the mortadella sandwich tomorrow. But first things first, right behind me is a really popular uh, Pernell sandwich restaurant. Let's go, I'm so hungry. Let's go. First things first, big shout out to this restaurant. Super cool in here, it's like 1950s style where the stools are cemented into the ground and the tiles on the walls and the waiter has a little hat on and he's super helpful helping us order. I will say, Sandwich Wars is over. We've got the winner already, haven't even tasted it. Look how good this sandwich looks. This is the traditional pernil and this is pernil queijo, so pernil with cheese. I love how it's mostly good stuff and very little bread. It's yeah, tiny. Right. Look at the, all it's, the meat. it's just mostly the good stuff. Yeah. It looks amazing. Uh, I think most Brazilians eat sandwiches with a napkin on their hands. So we're doing this tourist style uh, skin to sandwich. <laughs> but anyway, cannot wait. Oh boy. Mm. It looks so good, mm. Steve. How is mm. it? Mm. It's gonna be the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. Seriously? <laughs> it's so good. So the bread is super thin and the outside is sort of crispy. And the pork is so juicy. It's got onions in it. It's absolutely amazing. Wow. This is an incredible sandwich. There's nothing to improve. Can I have a bite of yours? Yeah, yeah. Because I can't imagine something could be better than this. And maybe with cheese, it's slightly better. This is you what can we'll see do. the half oh, half. half and half. Perfect, Ivana. So it almost looks like they took a bun. Cut the bun in half, yeah. took the in the inside of the bread out and just had the shell of the bun. So good. Absolutely six stars. This is a must eat food. <laughs> is that eggs? Oh no, cheese. 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 It's melted cheese. Yeah. And the whole thing is kind of soggy. It's very heavy. Right. This is a good sandwich, Ivana. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Which one is better? With cheese? Is it even better now? That's really good. To be honest, I prefer no cheese. Really? Believe it or not, the, wow. the quality of the ham is quite good. Mm. Because in Canada, the ham is more like processed. Yeah, it's more red. It's like a red color, could just be food coloring. But this is like uh, chunks meat. of real pork. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, let me eat. This is a six star. I have way too long. This is the, the, the top end of six stars. Wow. This is so good, Ivana. Okay, your turn. Okay. Mm. okay, so this place is called Lunches do Estadon. 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 <laughs> oh gosh, I'm, um. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. But many of you guys recommend this place to try the best traditional sandwich in Sao Paulo. So let's try. It's so good, Ivana. There's there's no way you won't like this. It's impossible to dislike. So good. Mm. The meat to bread ratio is is off the charts. So good. So thick of meat. Yeah, me. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's so good, right? <laughs> it is the best sandwich I've ever had. It's amazing, right? Yeah. And they, I don't think they put any sauce. You know what I mean? No, it's quite no. juicy and greasy and, yeah. and just delicious. I think the flavor itself is just from the ham itself. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no sauce. It's just that you can see the oil from the ham, I think. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh. Yo, there's no way a mortadella sandwich can beat this. And just a simple, they put a little bit of tomato in there. Oh. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of lettuce. Ivana uh -huh. is making a mess. I'm not no problem. No problem. Oh, the meat is so tender. The meat is so good. Mm. Wow. I'm loving this Brazilian ham. 
as Steve said, is quite different than like North American ham. Yeah, they this were is, like real meat. They were calling it fresh ham. Yeah, fresh which ham. Which I think is uh, to differentiate it from what the most people think of or as ham. Yeah, ham. yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Wow. It is so good. Okay, guys, here, try the cheese one. Oh, try the cheese. See one. if you think the cheese is better. I prefer no cheese. Not that cheese, cheese is one? bad. Oh, the cheese looks good though. I thought it was eggs. It looks like fried eggs. It's like a, it's like a <laughs> grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. I would say the cheese is five stars, but the no cheese is six stars. That's my, that's my analysis. Agree. Agree. Mm -hmm. There you have it, guys. Mm. Oh, interesting idea. That one? Put some chilies on there. Chili oil. That's mm. for you though. That's for the uh, Indonesian taste buds, not the Canadian taste buds. Oh, the oil in there looks pretty good. Is it already too spicy? One thing that's interesting is uh, Brazilian chilies are legit. Brazilian chilies are no joke. <laughs> nice, right? That's so good. Mm. Yo! Wow. Okay, so in this episode of Sandwich Love Wars, it. Mortadella has a, a tough task at hand. All right, Ivana, let's finish up, and then we'll see these folks back at the uh, mortadella sandwich tomorrow. I don't mm. think mortadella can beat this. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Food's so good, it leaves you speechless. No kidding. All right, next stop, mortadella. Oh my gosh. Look at this monster mortadella. It's Sad. as big as your head, Ivana. Oh, and it got some melty cheese as well. Oh my gosh. This place, by the way, is packed. Look at the amount of people here. We were on the line for like, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. 15 minutes yeah. waiting for this sandwich. Right, and there are like plenty of restaurants that serve the same sandwich. You know what I mean? But we chose the one, the busiest one. <laughs> Yeah, we purposely went for the longest line. Yeah. Yo, look at this sandwich. It's, I'm telling you, it's four inches tall. Wow, look at the amount of meat. I love it. Okay. All right, Ivana, don't Should be I shy. Go? Don't be shy. <laughs> that was funny to watch you attempt to bite that. I will say the scent of this one is is amazing. From across the table I can smell the meat. Mm -hmm. Smells smoky and sort of delicious. It's salty. The meat is also is salty but you got like some herbs or something like I taste something fresh inside of this really delicious sandwich. And the bun is left with like a cheese bun. Cheese bun with a little bit of salad in there. Very yeah, a little bit of salad. So the bread itself is pretty thin. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. what I like about Brazil. Thin bread, lots of meat inside. Yeah, the meat is always better than the bread. So yeah. give me give me more meat and less bread. Yeah, this is very good. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love this, Steve. <laughs> because salty is probably my favorite taste. Mm -hmm. I'm a salty kind of guy, so uh, maybe I'll love it. Mortadella is Italian, isn't it? Yeah, it must have come here with the Italian immigrants similar to the pizza. That would be my guess. I'm not sure. A little bit tastes like pizza to me. Tastes like pizza? In a sandwich. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like Portuguesa pizza in a sandwich. Portuguesa pizza <laughs> sandwich. Yo, oh, that man. sounds good. Yo, mm -hmm. Ivana, please. And you got the cheese in the middle and also at the bottom. You know what I mean? Double layer cheese, cheese and meat. Yeah. It goes cheese, meat, cheese, meat. <laughs> okay, Bona, I'm ready to eat if you're okay. ready to let me. <laughs> We're sharing one today because it's so heavy. Yeah, we got one because, I mean, one is enough for two people. Look at the amount of food here. Okay, my turn. Food so good, you ignore your uh -huh. boyfriend. <laughs> Gosh, it weighs two kilograms. Uh, 
It smells so good. It smells like delicious smoky mortadella, no? <laughs> yeah. It smells like pizza, no? How do you bite this? It's too big. Squish it with your mouth to bite it. <laughs> your whole mouth fills up with grease. Oh yeah. It's so flavorful. Mm -hmm. Yo, I thought Pernod would be the easy winner. But this is something else. Really? When you bite it, the meat squishes and makes all the grease come out. Yeah, you're right. As yeah. I was chewing, I had to had to swallow the I had to drink. Yes, yes. I had to this swallow one, the grease this, as I was. The sandwich you know, it's so is good. a little bit soggy at the bottom just because of the grease. Watch, 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 watch. See the liquid come out? I'm not kidding. As you're chewing, you have to. Before you swallow the food, you swallow the liquid. It's so <laughs> juicy. Expectation was Pernil was the easy favorite. This is very good, but this I think I think this is a guilty pleasure. Oh yeah, you cannot have that every day. I think we'll be having a nap after this because this is so greasy. <laughs> it's really good though. <laughs> okay, let's eat, man. Yo, we wanna, we wanna. Be honest. Which one do you prefer? Okay. Be honest, because, be honest, go ahead, go ahead. Let's finish the sandwich first, and then we'll break it. Finish the sandwich, and then we'll see. Yeah. It's possible we're gonna fall asleep, have a nap right here in this chair. <laughs> With this beer, that just come to your table. Oh, by the way, the beer just comes to your table automatically. Yeah. And they will? There's, there's one guy who just constantly fills up a tray of beer, and then walks around saying, do you want some beer, do you want some beer, do you want some beer? Yeah. You don't order, he just comes to you. Yeah. It's kinda nice, They'll kinda nice. This. Yo, man, this is, this okay, is, let's eat. I think I had two bites, I think I'm full. What? I think I'm full in two and bites. And we haven't even eaten anything today. I think this I'm full. is our first meal. And maybe only meal. <laughs> Yo, shout out to people in Brazil who have a beach bod. Yeah. Because from feijoada to pernil to mortadella sandwiches, it's heavy food. How can they keep fit? Temptation is all around in Brazil. If you have a beach broad in Brazil, that's the highest level of uh, beach broad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's eat and we'll see what we like better. Okay, to be honest, I was a little bit hesitant to come back to this market, Central Market, because of what happened last time. You guys remember? <laughs> a little bit of, you have uh, PTSD. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> This whole place is so packed today, even downstairs. We saw people trying lots of fruits. We've been through that. We're like, we're gonna try to avoid that area. Those those fruit sellers are gonna make $200 today. <laughs> 300. Yeah, yeah. But many of you guys told us that we must come back. We must come back here just to try this. It's worth it. So be honest, Ivana. Final review. You have to pick one sandwich as the better <laughs> sandwich. Is it pernil or is it mortadella? Oh! This is hard! Okay, this sandwich is worth coming back to the Central Market. But I gotta say, I prefer Pernil. Pernil sandwich. Same, same as yeah. me, same it's as me. The meat, this mortadella, is it mortadella, bologna, kind of meat, cold slice? Something like that. Yeah, it's actually closer to the Canadian type of ham. Yeah, even the color is more is more similar to that pink sort of ham. Yeah, rather than the pernil, which is the actual fresh ham. But the pernil sandwich, to me, is top notch. That is the best. Sandwich. Put it this way. Tell me if you agree. This mortadella sandwich is five stars. Yeah. But but the pernil, the pernil is the six, six stars. stars. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, one mortadella Brazil uh -huh. is for two people. I yeah, am so full. Yeah, we only ordered one. I'm like. I'm so full. The amount of meat and grease, but it's worth coming. Look at the napkins. Look at the napkins. <laughs> Both of us use uh, four or five napkins. 
Good thing our camera is splash proof because your fingers yeah. are soaked. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Really, really good. I wanted to try my hot sauce. I forgot. Oh, I good think for you. all the hot sauce here in Brazil, they're all homemade because they never had the. Uh, good point. They never good have point. a brand. Yeah, it's yeah. always have the expiration date. And like a refillable bottle yeah. that, they, that they just make themselves. Oh my gosh, Ivana. Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's so red. I don't know how spicy this is. Yo, one. that to me, for my eyes, that looks like a mistake. <laughs> that looks like it's gonna no, I'm scared. burn your mouth. Try, okay. try, try. See if it's good. You're nervous. Manage Oh my gosh. <laughs> spicy. Yo, I love the chili sauce. <laughs> but I like it. It's so good, but it's burning. Wow. Saoji, man. Saoji. All right, there you have it, guys. Two Canadians, one Indonesian Canadian. Am I red now? <laughs> Your face is gonna be the same color as that sauce. And so, and so, our votes were for the uh, pernil. Pernil sandwich. Put it this way: tomorrow we're not filming. Tomorrow's the day off. I think we'll go for a pernil. That is a that is a that is such a good sandwich. Yeah. But this one also very good. Two thumbs up. Both sandwiches. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Yvonne is gonna start sweating, I think. <laughs>